Shanti 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 Om Peace 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 Namaste friends So this video is continuing in the series where we're exploring the yoga teacher training that we are offering starting January 11th on Wednesday nights at Triple Crane Retreat Center which will be offered both online and in person so when I say that it means that you could be there or you could not be there <laughs> at Triple Crane or not uh, for people who are local they would offer you some flexibility and then for people who are coming from a distance you would be able or far away you'd be able to join us uh, last time we did an online teacher training was 2021 and we had a person from California uh, Tennessee and Massachusetts as well as various people from the Metro Detroit area and the Ann Arbor area so it's really cool to have all those people from all over so right now we've got some people interested from Chicago area and other places coming in um, far away in Michigan so uh, this particular video I wanted to talk about People who've already who've been through our teacher training, uh, these people are examples. People who've been through our teacher training that are very experienced yoga practitioners. Because a lot of people at this point, tons of people have been through yoga teacher training. So people end up in various situations after they've been through their yoga teacher training. Some people just want to expand their knowledge base more, so a second teacher training can be good. Some people are needing a complete and total reframe because for various reasons, the teachings that they studied might not be working for them anymore. We could say a lot about that, especially for our Kundalini Yoga friends who got very uncomfortable when they found out that Yogi Bhajan was a pathological liar. So just dropping that one there. So subject to uh, disagreement and happy to talk friendly with any friends who disagree with me on that. Still love you guys. So reframing your practice can happen for all different kinds of people if you've got a lot of experience or not. So it's always good to keep learning and expand your knowledge base. We've had very experienced Buddhist practitioners um, that are authorized in traditional Buddhist lineages like Master Hai, who's the head of Triple Crane, Winnie. She went through her teacher training and got a lot out of it, really enjoyed it. Dave and Michelle Whitney, I'm naming some people off who are authorized teacher in Theravada's tradition and they loved our teacher training. I'm going to tag you guys. Uh, Valerie Weir, who's a close friend of ours, she was reframing after the 3HO Kundalini Yoga meltdown, got a lot out of it. Eric Schwartz from Tennessee, he was doing his second teacher training. And we also had various uh, Bhakti Yoga practitioners who were enhancing their practice into a Hatha Yoga perspective, people who've got a lot of depth in the Bhakti communities, but were wanting to step more into the ability to teach. Also some people that are with some pretty serious um, popular yoga communities that don't have teacher trainings like some Sadhguru students who were very uh, serious meditation, meditators and yogis that got a lot out of going through our training. So all of these people that I'm bringing up, they have tons of experience and also body workers is another group of people. But all of these people, they had a lot of experience in yoga practice and there are some of the people who enjoyed and loved our teacher training the most. Maybe it's because they knew more, uh, because it was their second training, but they are just were really loved the training that we offered. So I wanted to bring this up because a lot of people, you might be like, well, I've already been through teacher training, and I just wanted to share that we have a great history and track record of working with people that have experience and helping them reframe and go to the next level in their teacher and teaching journey. I'm wondering, is there anything else I want to say on this topic? Mm, I don't think so. So it's, I have on my, per, on a personal level, um, my first teacher training was with 3HO Kundalini Yoga. I think it was 2003. Uh, Yogi Bhajan taught at that training. And then I ended up doing a yoga therapy, 200 hour yoga therapy training with uh, Susie Rand. And that was very expansive for me. I've done over 300 hours, closer to 500 hours of training with integral yoga, including teaching for them. And I've studied a lot with Ananda Village, um, as well as lots of other teachers that I've done shorter. Those are just things that were like teacher training programs. And every single time I do one of these trainings, it completely 
enhances and expands and helps me understand the yoga system more. Oh, also Amrit Yoga, I've done some of their uh, training programs. So it's always good to keep learning and we wanted to invite any of you people who are already yoga teachers to join us to go deeper if it works for you this year. Early bird discount is going for another 11 days. <laughs> so, oh no, 10 days. Today's the 6th. So the January, uh, December 16th, the early bird discount. After that, $350 price increase. And then we also have a discount. If you bring a friend, you each get $100 off. So just some of the uh, financial incentives in this marketplace world we live in. But we try to keep to the spiritual essence, even though we're functioning in the marketplace. And from the Advaita Vedanta view, we're all in transactional relationships until enlightenment. So here we go. This is another transaction. But we're going to infuse this transaction with the power of Yoga Maya, as my teacher, Mataji Gori Brata, encouraged us to see the living power of the divine in the world, pulling it into the world not to be renunciating, but to be here for each other. So thank you for any of you who made it to the end of the video. Adi Om Tat Sat Om.